background noise is not too bad, but this video is just a quick little thing to show uh, this person here. I uh, don't know how you want to pronounce that, Falkor. But uh, just to show them what it's like booting Windows PE on a uh, Raspberry Pi. Now recently, um, I have a link to everything in the description, but this all kind of started out of curiosity. I'm turning the Pi on there now. Uh, this all started out of curiosity because I found a, a sort of build of a UEFI BIOS that you can get for the Pi. And then um, everyone just kind of started playing around with it. And I be, uh, raised the question in that GitHub thread, could you boot Windows on it? And uh, it turns out you can. After a little bit of fiddling, everybody who's who's been working on this uh, has done a lot, actually. Because this has gone from needing a uh, serial debugger to, to just to get into Windows to not needing one anymore. Uh, the only issue that l is left so far, I mean, multi-core support and things like that seem to be working. Uh, we really don't have any way of being able to check that directly. Uh, if the camera will focus. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we don't have any way of like running any apps yet because there is no USB drivers that have been uh, ported. So NT Authority did uh, post his sort of USB uh, code, but none of us have actually been able to compile it yet or try it. I know some someone has, but they kept saying that they have issues with it, uh, trying to get it to run. So that's where we're at so far. I mean, it, it's very simple. There's nothing, nothing crazy. This is about it. Uh, you get to the sort of CMD screen here. And down here you could see the sort of, oh, it didn't come up yet, but down here you would uh, see the build number and it, it would say test mode, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Technically, since Windows PE can boot, the chances of Windows itself booting, oh, there we go. Uh, it's fully started up there. Uh, now you should, no, it's still not there for some reason, but the chances of Windows on ARM actually booting on the Pi now since Windows PE can boot is very likely. Uh, the only thing that really needs to be done is just getting like SD card support and things like that, USB drivers done, and once that's all done, you should be able to technically get this all working, which is pretty fascinating, because I never would have expected to see the day that we would get Windows 10 running on a Raspberry Pi. You know, there was always jokes about getting Windows RT running on one of these things, but no one has ever actually, you know, done it. And this, I think, is the farthest as we've gotten in terms of getting a different OS on the Pi, or something a bit more unique, I guess you could say, because the Pi is really mostly known for running Linux, and since Windows is now being ported to ARM, it's not very far-fetched anymore. So yeah, there you go, that's that's all that's really shown. It's just a blue screen and a command prompt. If you want, from what I've been told, you can edit the start net bat file. Uh, that's what Andrew told me. You can edit that file to have it show, uh, run any commands you'd like and stuff like that, which I'll probably show later on. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's pretty straightforward uh, and here's the Pi itself it's I've got a USB debugger attached right now but it's not really doing anything it's being ran off a battery bank uh, it does only boot off USB you cannot boot it off SD card at the moment again because of drivers but yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys